Salem side number one platform, Granville, Strathfield, Redfern, Central in all stations to Gordon. Granville, Strathfield, Redfern, Central in all stations to Gordon on side number one. Good morning, I'm Archie Aspinall and welcome to the training segment. I'm standing here on Paramount Station in New South Wales and it is freezing. Our focus for today is on scheduling, which is appropriate considering where we are at the moment. If you catch a train to work, this would be a familiar sight to you. During peak hour, trains are arriving and departing every few minutes, taking commuters to and from work. But during off-peak times, there's no need for so many trains because of the fewer number of passengers. Making sure the right number of trains are available when most of the people need them, we know is scheduling and without it you'd have chaos. Banks, like trains, need scheduling. Otherwise, how could we match the right number of counter staff to the right time of the day? But in order to know when our peak and quiet times are going to occur, we have to gather statistics for each and every transaction that takes place every day in all of our branches. In the Commonwealth Bank, most of us know this is quota management, and without it, we'd never know how to determine branch staffing levels or how to better manage the resources we have. This week, we'll look at what's called the transaction count and how it's performed. At the teller counter, transaction counting occurs automatically after a teller's served a customer. But not every transaction gets processed straight away. For example, a customer might have a bundle of checks to deposit or a check to cash. What happens at the customer service counter? At the customer service counter, they haven't got a hotkey. Instead, there's a sales transaction sheet. Again, after every customer is served, no matter how simple the inquiry, it's important to tick the sheet for each number of transactions completed. I thought it'd be good to have a chat with Suzanne Gavilovic. Suzanne is the manager, quota management, and welcome to the training segment. Thanks, Archie. Look, realistically, Suzanne, don't our staff have enough to do without having to worry about recording transactions? Well, they do have a lot to do, actually, but this is going to help them in the long run. If their manager schedules correctly, then they won't be the one left on the counter on their own to face a long queue. Thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us today. It's been greatly appreciated. It was a pleasure. The theory of stats collection is sound enough, so I thought I'd find out how it works from a branch point of view. With me today is Gail Marsh. Now, Gail's the assistant manager here at Parramatta. Welcome to the segment, Gail. Thank you, Archie. You ready for some questions? Yes, I am. Great. How do you use the transaction counting information at your branch? Well, I know when my branch is busy and I check the numbers every week to back up that feeling. Thank you very much for talking to us today and also for allowing us to come in and film at Parramatta Branch. Anytime, thank you. All the best. <sighs> I've got a couple of minutes before my train comes, so let's recap today's segment. Recording transactions accurately is very important. Always record the number of transactions a customer's asked for after they've gone and before you serve the next one. Don't be tempted to add too many or too few. It's not about spying on you, it's simply a management tool that will make life easier for everybody. For managers, Transaction Count provides up to the minute snapshot information that you can put to immediate use. And by using quota management tools to review patterns of business, you'll get the most out of the data that's available to you. Do it right and you'll be able to identify peaks and troughs over a fortnight that'll help you schedule daily meetings, staff leave and training. Oh, oh well, I suppose there'll be another one along in a minute. See you next week. I hope they've got the scheduling right. <laughs>